Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at all the Run DLL32 commands for Windows 10. Run DLL32 can load and run dynamic link libraries, which is cool. And we're going to show you how to use it if you're not familiar with it. We're going to start with an example. Let's say Device Manager. We're going to stick with that. You can pick anything in here you want. Once you get past the description, as you can see, Device Manager, right here. Highlight that. Right-click and copy it. Now, press your Windows key plus R. Use Control V. You can press Enter or click OK and the Device Manager will open. Boom. So that's pretty cool, but there's a lot cooler stuff we can do here. I'm going to save this up here and we're going to hit the desktop. So you've got that in memory already, whatever one you copied and pasted. Let's right click on our desktop and let's click New shortcut same thing control V and you can also right click and paste click next now the names are always wrong so you have to rename it we know it's the device manager so let's go ahead and name it that and click finish double click there's your device manager right click on it and I already had it pinned to start, so let me reverse that. Pin to start. I also had it on here, I was playing around earlier. Pin to taskbar. There it is. And as I mentioned, we pinned it to start. There it is. And that's about it. You can drag and drop it anywhere you can put a shortcut so that you can access it easily anytime. So, how about this? Obviously, that's one ugly default icon. So, back to the page, which is in the video description. And under this part here about the shortcut, take note of this code here in bold. Right click, get that into memory. Let's go back to your new shortcut. Click on it, right click on properties. Change the icon. And control V, or you can uh, browse because when you hit browse you'll be in Windows System 32 but it's a lot faster just to type this in and once you hit OK there's a whole bunch of icons now obviously it might take you a minute to find one because look how many there are there's an icon for just about every silly thing you could possibly do so I'm gonna find something generic just because we're only using this as an example obviously but just to show you how much nicer it looks and how well it stands out if you pick the right icon so I'm not going to do. So let's just say we'll use a printer looking icon. Click OK. And watch. At least this way it's got a familiar look to you that you can get used to. And as you can see, it didn't change it here yet. Let's see if it did it here. So let's unpin those and see if it works now that we have the new icon. Let's do taskbar where we can see it. There you go. So now your icon's back. So I didn't even realize that it wasn't going to change. Maybe after a reboot it will. But if you want to change your icon, maybe you can do your pin after you've done it just to make sure that you can come on, show up so you can spot it easier. Pretty cool. And of course, you can unpin from start by right clicking, unpin from taskbar. And of course, when you're done, you can click on it if you don't want it anymore. And you can right click and choose delete or just press your delete key. There you go. There you have it. As always, subscribe down here in the lower right corner where the little Major Geeks logo is, or obviously you know where to find the subscribe button, right? We appreciate you watching. As always, stay safe out there. See ya.